In the early days, I think the focus of Glenn Brown, and also, I guess, myself as well at that time, was on basic research. But there was no academic program. This was really one of the first academic programs uh, on these materials in, in the U.S. People, very smart people here, decided to start a research institute that would be focused on the lake crystal research. And uh, there was then the vision that to make these people work productively together, you need an infrastructure. Prior to 1990s, we still were using large CRTs, 100-pound computer monitors with TV tubes. And what the Liquid Crystal Institute's uh, expertise led to was the, the use of LCs and flat panel displays. The Liquid Crystals, of course, today is a mature field in the sense that practically everybody in the world knows what an LCD is because practically everybody in the world looks at one. Uh, either on their cell phone or their laptop or their TV or something. This is the biggest group of top scientists working in the diverse field of liquid crystal and soft matter. The liquid crystals is sort of a state of matter of their own. It exists between liquids and solids, and as a result it has properties of its own that are very unique. Every day we're finding new applications in these properties. <laughs> I think that's what excites me the most. Liquid crystals have a very prominent role in the future technologies of everything that is dynamic, flexible, smart, responds uh, to physical and chemical cues. These materials are so responsive that you can use them to do all sorts of things, including uh, make displays, and, and they have changed the lives of every human being in the world today, practically. Nobody anticipated anything like that. By uh, nature, liquid crystal field is really interdisciplinary. Uh, part of what the Institute does is draw from a number of different disciplines, chemistry, physics, biology, computer science. I think one of the biggest impacts it's had are the people who have been trained here. It's what they have done after they left. It's a very, very strong uh, team. People have their own directions and they collaborate and that creates a really uh, wonderful ensemble, I would say, of researchers here. The biggest contribution the Institute has had is on its students, the success of its students. Well, the Liquid Crystal Institute has within it uh, engineers, chemists, physicists, people who uh, have a good ground in biology and the other disciplines and sciences as well. And so students come here, not only do they receive that sort of a broad education, but they interact with, with the world's experts in liquid crystal science. So there's really nobody that's teaching liquid crystal devices and displays at a college level. So if you're a, a major company making liquid crystal displays and you're hiring engineers into the program, you're hiring people that have no background in what they're doing. Um, so either you have to internally offer the program or we can provide a program on all of the different technologies and science that is based behind that so that your production engineer not only follows the formula but knows why he's doing what he's doing. We're very fortunate to attract top talent in the country to come to the LCI and now we have a very large group of uh, scientists and uh, those scientists teach the next group of young researchers and uh, that, that just continues the momentum and right now I have no doubts that the Lake Crystal Institute is the best place in the world to do Lake Crystal research. I think the important thing to recognize is that liquid crystals are an entire phase of matter. Um, we've only scratched the surface. So while we've been very lucky that we had a, an entire new industry kind of based off discoveries that came out of this institute, um, that, that there are many more to come. I just can't imagine where it will be in 50 years. We would not have cell phones, flat screens on TVs and so on. We would, just wouldn't have this stuff if it wasn't for this, this liquid crystal display. Well, I think the LCI should continue to attract the best students it possibly can and continue to define new directions in research. Well, the college is the heart of uh, basic research at the university. It's the location for our STEM departments. And the LCI is, is a premier department in that sense. It has a long, long history of success in, in, in research. So as dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, I see it as a primary target for investment, both of the college and for the university. So th this year is really special. This is the 50th 
anniversary of the Liquid Person Institute, I'd like to see uh, new friends, uh, new company partners, and new students. And uh, so I welcome everybody to come to the LCI. Uh, this is still the most unique place where liquid crystal research can be done.